Good afternoon, Subhajit. Uh, good afternoon, Subhajit, sir. Thank you for having me here. OK, so how are you? Uh, I'm good. What about you, sir? I'm fine. Everything is fine. So you know the uh, like main objective of this uh, interaction, mm -hmm. right? We will discuss uh, like about the uh, overall admission process of IIT Jodhpur for MSc in computers and social science, right? So mm -hmm. before the discussion, so just uh, uh, give a brief introduction about yourself and where are you from? What was your previous background? Okay, so how you started uh, your journey from? Uh, your bachelor's background to uh, social science. So just. So, yes, uh, as you know, my name is uh, Subhajit Maji. So I have completed my graduation in computer science and I'm from Bengal. So after that, uh, I have prepared for UPSC. Uh, and I have attempted twice, including this year also. But uh, unfortunately, I was not able to qualify the prelims. Right. So as, as backup plan or plan B, you can say, I have joined uh, IIT Jodhpur in MSc Computational and Social Science. Right. That's right. OK, so very nice, very nice uh, Subhajit. So just I want to say uh, congratulations that you got selected uh, for the program MSc in Computational and Social Science at IIT Jodhpur. And I hope you will do good because your background is quite uh, uh, quite aligned with that domain. OK, computational mm -hmm. social science and you are okay. you have done based in computational uh, like uh, computer science, right? Am I right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. OK, yes. so yes. you have uh, you have placement opportunity also, you know, if you do mm -hmm. several uh, if, if you learn several skills at that institute, so definitely you will uh, be able to crack the different types of interview for the placement. OK, so I hope you will do that. OK, because uh, like in take uh, the placement opportunity at IIT Jodhpur is good. Eh? So I know that uh, uh, like uh, scenario of that institute. OK, so I hope you will do uh, good in future and I wish you for that. Sure. So OK, um, so yes, so now just uh, the, the explain what was the uh, overall process uh, admission process of IIT Jodhpur for uh, MSc in Computational and Social Science. So uh, in School of Liberal Arts Department, you can say mm. IIT Jodhpur uh, application process started, I think from February to March onwards. Yes. After that, uh, there are shortlisting criteria. There are some shortlisting criteria also like uh, 10, in, ten mathematics in 10 plus 2 and bachelor degree in computer science, sociology and that's all. Then uh, shortlisted right. candidates are. Then shortlisted candidates have to pass a screening test. After that, there was a inter there was an interview scheduled on that day itself. Right. So this was the whole process. After that, you will get call letter from IIT Jodhpur uh, mm -hmm. when you will be selected. Right. So uh, that is a very good point you have mentioned, uh, Subhajit. That is uh, one specific qualification you should have if you are going to mm -hmm. apply for MSc in Computer and Social Science. So at last 12 level, it means that at 12th standard, okay, you should have mathematics, okay, and that is the basic eligibility criteria. And if you have that, then you can apply. So I think the future aspirants for that program uh, will uh, be familiar with this information and the interaction with you. This information will help others also. So Subhajit, just uh, now uh, tell us about the uh, written test part and what were the question? What was the pattern? Uh, what you will suggest uh, to the student or future aspirants? OK, so, uh, so uh, the screening test which was uh, on the basis of MCQ. Mm. Uh, it was based on QRE, that is uh, Quant Reasoning and English. There was, right. a, there was a comprehension and reasoning reasoning questions were, I think, five to seven at most. Right. Most of the questions were uh, Quant, especially, especially focused. Uh, I think uh, those are arithmetic. OK, okay. for example, percentage and uh, mm. ratio and proportion, that's all. Most of the right. questions were there. This type of question. Right. 
and uh, can you remember any other parts like uh, i heard about right uh, uh, hmm. reasoning part and comprehension part so for comprehension what you will suggest for the future aspirants for comprehension i will suggest uh, these comprehensions are not like uh, cat level in. right okay. these are more or less like 10th ten, level or those unseen passages we those answer, like those unseen passages uh, we have to focus on 10th level and 10 plus 2 level. Yes, that. like that. And there are some synonyms and antonyms too. So uh, it is doable. Okay. It doable. So it was it was easy. It was not too much hard. Like mm -hmm. it was not too much and, hard. Uh, like yes. Go on. And and for uh, quant, you have to practice. Mm. Those yeah. questions are not a cup of tea. Uh, okay. Those questions are quite good question, quite good level question. Not like ta uh, not like cat or C set. But still, they are uh, quite good. They were quite good. Okay, so you, I can say like uh, it was a moderate level question. It was not too easy. It was not too tough. Okay, it was moderate, yes. right? Okay, yeah, yeah. so good, good. So now uh, I'm coming to the part of the interview. So interview is the one of the most important, and uh, every 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 time I I I will say the most important part for the selection. Okay, written test is 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 easy it will be easy you can crack that uh, written test sometimes uh, uh, they will call you okay if you if you do bad in the written test still they call you for the interview because interview is the most important part for the selection so just tell us about your interview experience what type of question they asked and who are the panelists how many members uh, professors were there in your panel so just explain that part uh, before going to the uh, interview part, I uh, I have a suggestions for the future aspirant in screening test itself. Okay, right. first of all, uh, you don't need to refresh the page. I have refreshed the page and it cost my almost eight to ten marks. Four questions right. I have marked. But after that, I have refreshed the page. So obviously, eight to ten marks are huge, at least in uh, this field. Right. Uh, although I have uh, qualified this year. Uh, luckily okay, okay. then uh, okay uh, then in interview there were right. uh, four to five panel member right. one of them uh, who was the chairman she is uh, professor chanda chakravarti ma'am right okay. right then uh, another member was uh, professor kj george if i am not wrong okay it's fine fine okay so you can continue okay. name is then, not uh, uh, important who, here so you can continue okay okay my first question was uh, obviously introduction. So Introdu I have introduce introduced yourself. Question. Introduce yourself. Right. Then uh, I have. Uh, I don't know. It was uh, uh, how actually. I just wanted to. Tell, I have uh, say. I have told them that I am preparing for UPSC. I right. don't know its negative or positive impact. Right. Because when I have when I have told them I am preparing for UPSC, just the chairman who is uh, Professor Chanda Chakraborty. She was shaking head like this. I don't know <laughs> why. It may, it may be it, it, it may be due to due to technical due to technical issues from my side. I was not properly audible. It may be due, due to this or maybe due to uh, this reason also uh, as they were searching for uh, dedicatedly who who will take this course as serious mm. as uh, one can take a UPSC right so yes so mm, i thought uh is also nahi ho raha hai bhai nahi hoga koi nahi ho to aisa hota hai theek hai but aisa hota hai but abhi selection hua hai mujhe ye pata hai mera teen char student hai matlab jo bhi jo upsc aspirant hai but they got selected in different iits okay but mera suggestion ye hai sabko main ye batata hu uh, अगर कोई यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट है तो उसको एक अलग पॉइंट ऑफ एंगल से ना अलग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू से उसको यूज करना चाहिए बट फर्स्ट टाइम किसको नहीं बताना चाहिए यू वेर द यूपीएससी एस्पिरेंट इसका दो इंपैक्ट है एक पॉजिटिव इंपैक्ट है कि नेगेटिव इंपैक्ट है पॉजिटिव इंपैक्ट हो सकता है इफ यू डू वेल इन दैट इंटरव्यू ओके एंड if you are able to defend the question of those uh, panel 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 member right so it has like two different side okay 
you know it's fine it's i think uh, uh, now uh, just i want to say you got selected and congratulation uh, for uh, for that achievement okay so it was, Joe, it was like a, it was like a double edged sword you can say <laughs> okay both way anyway so okay after so that next uh, next question next uh, interview next question. question yes then uh, then uh, then professor chandra chakraborty asked behind me there is a uh, map of india so okay. uh, i have i have told uh, themselves uh, that i am from bengal then right. she asked about uh, how many states you have to pass to reach rajasthan jodhpur from west bengal oh my god <laughs> this, 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 this was like prelims type question so i have answered it uh, in a well way okay then uh, then uh, she asked about uh, are you interested in photography then i simply told him told her that no ma'am i am not interested okay then, okay then after, after that uh, i have uh, told them uh, that uh, my optional is sociology just to just uh, just to just to uh, just to tell them that uh, my focus area is sociology then uh, then uh, professor k j george asked me uh, who is your favorite sociologist okay try interesting Who is, favorite, who is your favorite sociologist? Then uh, it's uh, actually it's not uh, it's it's not Karl Marx of mine, but still uh, as I have prepared well uh, during my right. uh, UPSC journey, so right. I have told I have told them uh, after dissolution of uh, USSR, although the credibility of uh, Karl Marx has been declined, but still my fa my favorite sociologist is Karl Marx. Right. It is. Uh, it is it is our conclusion part in upsc sociology optional just we have to conclude in this way in a positive way not in a negative way i just right. i just tell them this okay okay interesting <clears throat> okay after, so after that, yes follow, some follow up questions also like uh, right. what is theory of alienation that's all it's more or less sociological oriented and after mm -hmm. uh, after my uh, when my interview was over I can see year to year smile of uh, Professor K J George. Okay, nice, That's interesting. So, no, ये मैं बताऊँगा सबको जो भी ये video आ, like बाद में देखेगा और देखेंगे जो भी है, right? So, just one thing I uh, I got from uh, from you uh, that is your background. ओके दैट वाज ट्रिकी वन दैट वाज ट्रिकी वन ओके तो ये जो मैप रिलेटेड जो क्वेश्चन था वो यूपीएससी रिलेटेड ही है एंड इवन वो इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन इसलिए है मतलब बाय रोड अलग है एंड बाय रेल रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट वो अलग है शायद मे बी वे बहुत Interesting, easy, hard, easy tha, but it was tricky one also. Tricky so, one. questions which are both अच्छा लगा. Okay, so anyway, uh, uh, I think like uh, the future aspirants will learn a lot from this interaction. So, uh, any any further question they asked, uh, can you recall? Can you remember uh, any other questions uh, from any other professor? If you remember, you can tell. Uh, there was another professor also. She asked me about. Uh, tell me three things about Rajasthan. Okay, interesting. Ah, uh, it is it is more or less related to UPSC. You can say. Right. Uh, so what you told them what, what 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 you told them at that time at that moment? I, I have told them about first of all the th the great Thar desert of India, okay. the one and only hot desert of India, physically. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then culturally, uh, I have told them the food culture of India. Right. Okay. Yes, food culture is very different here. This is a very interesting part. Thor, to hai. And, and, and another another cultural dance. At that time, I, I was not able to recall the name. I think it's Ghumar, maybe. Ghumar. Ghumar. But best I was not song. able to recall the name. Uh, one of the best song uh, is there on that particular term gumar gumar okay yeah. it was nice and it is nice anyway so your interview was so wonderful right 
a different type mm -hmm. of question they asked because you are from a different background you are from computer science background uh, bsc in computer science then you prepared for the upsc and then your transition or transformation from mm -hmm. uh, that background okay upsc preparation to sociology it was it was a nice uh, like uh, transformation and i can say okay so i hope you will do good in future and if you want to say something more uh, to my viewers to my student and future aspirants so you can say okay okay sir so, so. uh, mostly i can say that uh, after right to information act of india government of india has tried well it to uh, spread the information in right. different fields but unfortunately it 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 does not percolate to the down, down layer of the india of this india of the bharat you can say not india right. actually india is well off india is for well off bharat is for rural india right so uh, the great initiative you have taken to spread the information is really is really i think you, you, i can say it, it's an achievement already I, you have more than 2.5k or 5k uh, subscriber and also स्पेशल थैंक्स टू यू मुझे नहीं पता चलता था अगर आप ही ना होते तो उधर यूट्यूब पे क्योंकि आफ्टर सर्चिंग फॉर गेट ह्यूमिटीज एंड सोशल साइंसेस आई केम टू नो एम एस सी इन कंप्यूटर सोशल साइंस सो देर देर लॉट्स देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटीज हियर ऑल्सो इन आई आई टी इवन इन एन आई टीज ऑल्सो फॉर ह्यूमिटीज एंड सोशल साइंस एंड दिस ट्रांजेशन दिस ट्रांजेशन श्योरली हेल्प मी इन फ्यूचर hopefully yes. just hope for the best yes yes but just uh, i want to add one point uh, with your statement mm -hmm. uh, subhojit and it was my only one objective to pass the information to share the information okay so uh, one day uh, yesterday actually yesterday i interacted uh, with one student and he was from bihar he attempted five times okay for uh upsc okay five years he invested and then uh, he decided uh, he will appear for the uh, I, uh, for for the masters entrance okay and iits and i interacted with him and he told me uh, uh, told me his story uh, and his journey now uh, he got selected at iit guwahati Uh, for development studies i was very happy for him and even i am interacting with the students uh, like specially who are uh, the upsc aspirant okay and i hope they will do good uh, in iits and i hope you will uh, also uh, do good in future and all the best and wish you a bright future okay so thank, thank you. you thank you thank you